Hello everyone, here's another one from my rainbow playlist. It is rainbow cake roll and it has a whipped cream cheese filling. Start off by separating five eggs. Place the five egg yolks in a medium sized bowl and begin to beat those egg yolks with an electric mixer or by hand until they start to change color. They will lighten up and they will also start to thicken up. Once that happens, you can add one third of a cup of white granulated sugar. A little bit at a time beating after each addition and continue to beat until they change color significantly. They will become quite light yellow and they will thicken up a lot as well. Now at the beginning of this procedure, I should have added a half a teaspoon of lemon zest and a teaspoon of lemon juice, but I forgot. So I added it after the fact, but it still worked out quite nicely. So I stirred those ingredients in and then I put the egg yolk mixture aside to continue on with the recipe. Now in a large bowl, place the five egg whites that you separated out at the beginning and then beat those egg whites with an electric mixer until soft peaks form. Once you get soft peaks, add one third of a cup of white granulated sugar a little bit at a time and continue to beat the egg whites until you get stiff peaks. These are what stiff peaks look like. When you pull the beaters out of the mixture, they should little peaks should stick straight up just like that one is right there. And if you hold the bowl over your head, the egg whites shouldn't fall out. Now take the egg yolk mixture and incorporate it into the egg whites by folding them in. And folding is not stirring. Folding is a, just like it sounds. You're taking that mixture and folding it over the other mixture. And that way you're not going to remove too much air from those egg whites. For the dry ingredients in this recipe, it's two thirds of a cup of cake flour. Please see description for information about that and a teaspoon of baking soda. I sifted those things together to make sure that there were no lumps in them and then added the dry ingredients to the egg white mixture a little bit at a time and I'm doing the same folding gesture as I did before. Once the dry ingredients are completely incorporated, add three tablespoons of melted butter and make sure after you melt the butter that you allow it a chance to cool quite a bit so that you don't want to cook your egg whites. Once that's folded in, your cake batter is done. Divide the cake batter into six portions, one for each color of the rainbow, and then you're gonna tint those portions all different colors. I'm using AmeriColor food colors for this because I had just received some brand new bottles and I wanted to try them out. They are paste food colors, it's kind of like a gel. What's great about them is they come in a little squeeze bottle so you don't have to stick any objects in the container to get the food coloring out. Try to stir that in as gently as possible. Your egg whites are gonna deflate a bit, but there's not much you can do about that. Once the color's incorporated, I place them into disposable piping bags. You can also use, use uh, plastic food storage bags, like Ziploc bags. And then I took a cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper and I cut the end off the piping bag and then just proceeded to make stripes for each color of the rainbow. Now, as far as size, I would say that my cake ended up to be about 12 inches wide by 15 inches long. And that used up just about all of the batter that I had in the piping bags. Make sure all the colors touch that, and that they don't overlap too much. And I made each stripe, I guess it was about three quarters of an inch. And then I baked this at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes. It cooks very quickly. You'll know it's done when it gets just slightly brown on the edges and when you touch it, it's firm. And when you stick a toothpick in it, it comes out clean. So I took it right off the cookie sheet and then I inverted the cake onto a clean, damp dishcloth and then very gently peeled off the parchment paper. And this is going to be the nice side of your cake, the part that's going to show. And I placed a second tea towel, just slightly dampened and then flipped it over. This cake is remarkably durable in handling. It doesn't rip that easily. And I just readjusted the cake to make sure it was um, properly positioned on the dishcloth. And then I rolled it up in the dish cloth. You don't have to roll it very tightly, just roll it up. And then I set this whole thing aside and just allowed it to cool. Now I prepared the filling for this. First, you're gonna need four ounces of happy cream cheese. 
Happy cream cheese is always the best thing to use for these kinds of recipes. And then I added one half cup of white granulated sugar. I blended those two ingredients together until they were nice and creamy and light and fluffy. And then in a separate bowl, I prepared three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream and beat the whipping cream until it became nice and thick. And then I added the whipped cream to the cream cheese and sugar mixture and then folded that in as well until it was well incorporated. And that's all there is to it for this filling and it is delicious. Now I realized that I could probably roll this cake up two ways. I could roll it this way so that the stripes went lengthways or I could roll it up on the long end which would mean you would have stripes going the other way. And I wasn't sure which way I liked the best. So what I did was I cut that cake right in half and I thought I would try one of each and let you decide which one's the nicest. So place some of the filling in the center of your cake. Now that cake has cooled by now. Spread the filling around and there's no need to go right up to the edge because that filling is going to squish out when you, when you roll it. And you'll see here, when I start to roll, the filling will be pushed ahead by the cake and will fill in any gaps that you might have left. Then place the cake on a serving platter or a plate, put it in the refrigerator and let it sit there for a couple of hours and that'll, that will allow that filling to set up nicely. And there's the second cake with the stripes that go lengthways. Now for the stripe that go lengthways, when you cut a piece of the cake, each slice of cake will have a rainbow color in it. So you'll have all the colors of the rainbow in each slice. So you'll have to tell me if you like this one, or you can also roll it the other way so that when you slice it, you get a slice of each color. So everyone can get a, someone can get a slice of blue or a slice of red or a slice of orange, that kind of a thing. Thanks to everyone for watching. And in the comments, please let me know which of these cake rolling methods you like the best. The one where you can cut individual slices or the one that has a rainbow in each slice. And also on your screen right now, you'll see there is some rainbow tie dye ice cream and that will show you how to make that very soon and both of these recipes will be in my rainbow playlist and there'll be a link in the description box and on your screen bye bye